Hello, it's Mr. White, I'm reading from the 7th grade science. We are in Chapter 3, Lesson 3, Domains and Kingdoms. My Planet Diary. Unbelievable. If you were classifying organisms, would you expect there to be more bees, more birds, or more mammals in the world? The table below shows the number of species of bees, mammals, and birds that scientists have found so far. How are organisms classified into domains and kingdoms? Suppose you helped the Linnaeus classify organisms. You probably would have identified organisms as either plants or animals. That's because in Linnaeus's time, there were no microscopes to see tiny organisms that are known to exist today. Microscopes help to discover new organisms and identify differences among cells. Today, a three-domain system of classification is commonly used. As shown in the table at the top of the next page, the three domains are bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Within the domains are kingdoms. Organisms are placed into domains and kingdoms based on their cell type, their ability to make food, and the number of cells in their body. Domain bacteria. Although you may not know it, members of the domain bacteria are all around you. You can find them on the surfaces you touch and inside your body. Some bacteria are autotrophs, while others are heterotrophs. Members of the domain bacteria are called prokaryotes. Prokaryotes are unicellular organisms who lack a nucleus. A nucleus is a dense area in a cell that contains nucleic acids, the chemical instructions that direct the cell's activities. In prokaryotes, nucleic acids are not contained within a nucleus. Domain archaea. Deep in the Pacific Ocean, Hot gases in molten rock spew out from a vent in the ocean floor. It is hard to imagine that any living thing could exist in such a harsh condition. Surprisingly, a group of tiny organisms thrives in such a place. They are members of the domain Archaea, whose name comes from the Greek word ancient. Like bacteria, Archaea are unicellular prokaryotes. And like bacteria, some Archaea are autotrophs and others are heterotrophs. Archaea are classified in their own domain because their chemical makeup differs from that of bacteria. Bacteria and archaea also differ in the structure of their cells. The bacteria in figure 1 and the archaea in figure 2 have been stained and magnified to make them easier to see. Domain Eukarya What do seaweeds, mushrooms, tomatoes, and dogs have in common? They are all members of the domain Eukarya. Organisms in this domain are eukaryotes, organisms with cells that contain nuclei. Scientists classify organisms in the domain eukarya into one of four kingdoms, protist, fungi, plants, and animals. Protist. A protist is a eukaryotic organism that cannot be classified as a fungus, plant, or animal. Because its members are so different from one another, a protist kingdom is sometimes called the odds and ends kingdom. For example, some protists are autotrophs, while others are heterotrophs. Most protists are unicellular, but some, such as seaweed, are multicellular. Fungi. If you have ever eaten mushrooms, then you have eaten fungi. Mushrooms, molds, and mildew are all fungi. The majority of fungi are multicellular eukaryotes. A few, such as the yeast used in baking, are unicellular eukaryotes. Fungi are found almost everywhere on land, but only a few live in fresh water. All fungi are heterotrophs. Most fungi feed by absorbing nutrients from dead or decaying organisms. Plants. Dandelions on a lawn, peas in a garden, and the marsh grass shown here are familiar members of the plant kingdom. Plants are all multicellular eukaryotes, and most live on land. Also, plants are autotrophs that make their own food. Plants also produce food for most of the heterotrophs on land. The plant kingdom includes a great variety of organisms. Some plants produce flowers, while others do not. Some plants, such as giant redwood trees, can grow very tall. Others, like mosses, never grow taller than a few centimeters. Animals. A dog, a flea on the dog's ear, and a cat that the dog chases all have much in common because all are animals. 
All animals are multicellular eukaryotes. In addition, all animals are heterotrophs. Animals have different adaptations that allow them to locate food, capture it, eat it, and digest it. Members of the animal kin kingdom live in diverse environments throughout Earth. Animals can be found from ocean depths to mountaintops, from hot, scalding deserts to cold, icy landscapes.